Hi, this is Scott Shepard again, and I am still photo media instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute. And uh, this tutorial is a very brief one. By brief, I mean I hope it's under five minutes. Uh, on how to do a quick and easy teeth brightening um, maneuver on Aperture. And one of the things I like about Aperture is that it is designed for photographers and it lets you do all kinds of cool things to photos and you don't have to, as you would in Photoshop, create layer upon layer and layer masks and things like that. Uh, and it's also very easy to go back and fine tune a RAW file. And of course the other thing that's cool about Aperture is that it's non-destructive editing, which is to say all of the changes that you, can ma you make here can be undone. Uh, in Photoshop, I would find that I would be saving uh, a multitude of different versions of a particular file because if I wanted to go back, I wanted to make sure that I could go back to a specific state. And I should also say, incidentally, that uh, Aperture is made by Apple for photographers. Uh, and uh, to be fair, I needed to also tell you that Adobe, of course, makes a tool just for photographers as well, and it's called Lightroom. Uh, the prices are about the same unless you're a student and uh, can get the aperture for $39. That's hard to beat. I don't think that Lightroom comes close to that. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm using aperture because that was the first tool that came on the market for photographers. And uh, I also use Apple products, but enough of that. Let's talk a little bit about this picture. Um, what I want to do is show you how easy it is to go from here to here. And the thing you're looking at, of course, um, if I can get this in the right position, is that you're looking at their teeth. So that's after and that's before. Now the secret with any kind of photo editing on portraits, if you ask me, although this would be true, I suppose, on landscapes and other things, is that you don't want to make it look like it's been um, manipulated too much, unless your goal, of course, is to manipulate. So anyway, let's take a look at these teeth and how we do this. This is fairly simple. We're going to be using the enhance brick on this one. And this is the enhance brick right over here. Um, this is as exactly as it is set by default. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up a brush. By the way, this is called a HUD, uh, not a brick. Uh, HUD stands for Heads Up Display. And this is the enhance HUD. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, turn saturation down to zero. We're going to turn vibrancy down to zero. In fact, we're going to turn them all down to zero. Now, I'm using a brush at full strength here and the softness, which is to say the edge, oops, the edge around the brush is uh, fairly soft. And the size is um, done so that it will more or less do the teeth and not get much else. I also have detect edges on because I would like to uh, have the tool determine where the edge of the teeth is. We'll see how smart this tool is. And uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click all. Now I usually work with color overlay but I don't need to do it on this one because you're going to see what happens. And uh, we're going to zoom in on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start um, putting this adjustment onto the teeth. Now, <laughs> what I'm doing is that I'm taking all of the saturation and vibrancy and contrast out of the teeth. And I'm left with gray teeth. Not attractive. Just bear with me on this one. So this is the first step. And uh, you can see that the fact that I have um, find edges on is working pretty well here. Uh, the secret here is I don't want to take uh, anything out of the lips. Now I can always notice how I kind of went too far there. I can always go back here to the eraser tool and I can uh, kind of clean that up. Alright, so one set of teeth. And uh, I'm doing this in a hurry. Uh, obviously if uh, we were doing this for a customer we'd want this to be absolutely perfect. I am also using my Wac <laughs> Wacom pen tablet. Um, I've watched my students work and they can do amazing things with just the uh, touchpad on their Macs. Uh, more power to you if you can do this that way. Uh, I learned to use the tablet and uh, I'm not bad. By the way, this girl was chewing gum in portraiture. That's one of the first things you try to pay attention to before you even start taking pictures.
I'm smarter now, I would say. Let's take the gum out, please. All right, so there you have the teeth. They all look pretty gray, kind of ugly. And here's where the magic of the enhance tool comes in. Now, I'm going to uh, crank up the saturation, and you can see that the color comes back. So the secret here in this particular technique is that we're taking some of the color out of the teeth, a little bit of that uh, yellow color that is fairly natural with teeth. And then we're going to crank up the vibrancy. Now, you're still not seeing much. It's the contrast tool that is the secret weapon. All right, definition. Now, the, the problem with this is that, and it's kind of hard to see right here, Let's see if the loop will help us. Problem with this technique, no, the loop doesn't help us because we're uh, seeing this at pixel view. This is a cropped photo. Is that you don't necessarily want to take uh, the texture out of the teeth or even the uh, slight variations that you'll see in teeth. Um, those of you that haven't enhanced a lot of teeth on portraits probably don't know what I'm talking about. But trust me, teeth do have character. And the secret is to not turn them into just flat white blobs. And um, I'm going to call that good. If we go back and uh, let's see. If we, and I like to do this because it gives me a sense of what I've done to a picture. If I uncheck, I'm way over here on the enhance brick. If I uncheck the enhance tool, you can see the way it was before. And now you can see the way it was after. Now, that's all that I need to show you, but I am going to tell you that if you wanted to do enhancements to this photo in other places, let's say, for example, you wanted to enhance the overall look by adjusting the contrast, you can't use this brick because right now this brick will only affect that area that we've retouched. Now, that's a cool feature in Aperture. Uh, I suppose, in essence, it's, it would be the equivalent of a layer in Photoshop. And so if I wanted to do overall enhancement, I need to make sure that I go to the Gear tool, and I'm going to go add a new enhance adjustment. Now I would do this too if the teeth of the two girls was uh, significantly, if the teeth were significantly different and I might need to do a different uh, power of adjustment on one compared to another. And now I have a new enhance tool and in this case it's going to be applied globally. So if I want to boost contrast, take contrast down, adjust saturation and so on, that affects the overall look. Just, you need to understand that, that once you do an enhance, uh, using an, an enhancement on a brick using the brush, um, that affects only the part that you've enhanced. Anyway, there you have it. From uh, before to after. Easy way to fix teeth in Aperture. Hope this helps. Thanks for listening.